Let's connect the Element 7 to my tablet. One of the things that AK Homburger did, and remember, I got this second ESP Arduino, is that he uh, connected his uh, AIS to the Wi-Fi. And that made me think, maybe I can connect my plotter. By the way, here you see the AIS data on my plotter. There is the box that I had over my Arduino. And there you see the wind information. So here's my plotter. If I go to setup and go to Wi-Fi, you see here I got the Wi-Fi of the network of my ship and my wife my plotter, the name is Bakus Nov. So let's see. Here you see that it says that the card not found. So that means that maybe if I put a valid card in my plotter that then I don't have to update my card in my Navionics app. I showed you I had a cover for my ESPs. It's this one and it seems to fit exactly but there's these little things inside. You can get them out by just cutting them out but use a heat gun to heat it first and then it goes like a knife through the butter. So here's the second board and it's going to put the AIS data on the Wi-Fi and here's my tablet and there you can see the ships from AIS and this red one is causing the alarm. I switched off my uh, plotters so the alarm now comes from the ESP device. That's nice. This is the like hobby project that I had. So here's the STNG bus one, here's the other one, and there's the two boxes for the ESPs.